KTTV in Miami. Uh, one of you has been in space four times, uh, Mr. Young, and Commander Crippen, you haven't gone yet. To what extent have uh, you developed the sort of old pro and uh, rookie relationship so familiar to TV watchers? I was glad when he got picked, uh, fly with him because he knew the software so well. And I'll be darned, you know, the design wasn't frozen up in those days. And when he got picked, and I figured he'd handle the computers, and turned out they put the computer switches on my side. <laughs> It's quite different running thousands and thousands of computer simulations from seeing what you have worked on for 10 years out on the launch pad ready to launch. In the control center, uh, New Hutchinson was our flight director, and uh, I think nowadays they, they actually have pictures of the launch, but uh, you know that was uh, a no-no. I mean, everybody was going to be focused on their job a couple weeks before the launch. He said, gee, you know, maybe, uh, maybe we should have a cue card, and, uh, but uh, we went a little bit different. Uh, we, uh, we put them on a tie, and that's all our calls, and uh, we, we stenciled them on upside down. So all you had to do was pick up your tie like that, and you could uh, just read down. Uh, all the calls you had to make uh, you know, during ascent, but we thought it was just something to add a little lightness to the event. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, we've gone for main engine start. responsible for the separation of anything that's separated on the shuttle. So certainly the boosters on first flight, you know, it's up above watching in mission control. And so when they separated, I screamed. Roger on the step, Columbia. <laughs> oh, yes, it really did it. They came off. It's really not explainable, you know, when you dedicated so much of your life to uh, the development and design and it's come to fruition you know it's like having a baby it's, yeah, it's the best way I can say it Columbia Houston uh, you guys did so good we're gonna let you stay up there for a couple days you're going for on orbit being the so-called rookie on this flight I had a, a thrill from from the moment of liftoff all the way up to what we're doing now it was really been super the spacecraft has worked as advertised all the way along I think we've got something that's really going to mean something to the country and the world. Well, it's great, and everybody views it, I'm sure, just as the forerunner of great things to come. It truly was a unique, and is a unique machine, probably one of the greatest engineering feats that has been done, in, in, at least in space. It, it captured in a lot of satellites that, were mal that malfunctioned. It brought them back and took them back up again and launched them again. It has done over and over again a lot of great experiments in space. Well, it's a workhorse. If you just stop and think about what the shuttle does, it can carry people to and from orbit. It can carry large payloads to and from orbit. It provides a work arrangement where you can uh, use a manipulator arm to move payloads in and out. Well, there's so many things. It, the great observatories that we carried to space, you know, the, the Compton Gamma Ray Observatory, the Hubble Space Telescope, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, and then you talk about the missions that we made to the Mir Space Station, and we, we carried more people to the Mir Space Station than the Russians did in the Soyuz. The uh, International Space Station Assembly, which is one of the remarkable engineering achievements of our time, 
um, it's just been a great ride and, and we have a lot to be proud of, um, those of us that have been privileged to work in the space shuttle program all these years. We Americans, by developing shuttle, have proved to ourselves and to the world that we have know-how and experience to build the most challenging system, space shuttle, and put it in successfully into operations. I think this is going to be, it won't be a walk in a park by any means, but it's going to help a whole lot. New generation of developers who will be developing CEV, CLV, and the, and the, the rest of the vehicle fleet. Well, you bet. I think it's incredible machinery, and uh, all the people who worked on it have done a heck of a job on it. And, uh, you know, it goes into the future, and, uh, you know, I think it's just the beginning. I think getting people off this planet is the key to the success of the future of the human race.